Oh my god! Someone tried to kill him. Look at that. This is a thriving population of blue crawfish in Florida. We're gonna try and morph this into sort of like a breeding enclosure for the crawfish. Baby snakehead. Yo, Brandon, I see a snakehead. Yo, this video's starting out just like the last one. Hey, we're coming down there. We're gonna get you, boy. Can we scoop him up? Yo, how about you jump down there and, and sneak attack him? Go quietly through the water. Try to go left. Oh my god, I see him. Guys, he's right there. Did you put it in front of him? Yeah. And then skip away. Oh my god, we got it! Oh my god. Let's go, dude. We caught a snake. Baby head. snake head. <laughs> Look at this guys. Dude, that worked. I scared him into it. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ah! Get back here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you're Who's done. Oh my god, where's Where he going? Go? Oh, where's he going? Oh my god. Where did he go? Get back here. What do you think you're doing? Ah! We got him guys. First catch of the day. It's only been two minutes, baby. Little baby snake head. There you go, mister. Oh, wait, no, get back here. There's something I want to show. Someone tried to kill him. Brandon, you see that? Yeah. Someone tried to freaking kill him. That's what people don't realize about these fish. Someone tried to beat him in the head and kill him, but listen to that. They're hard as a rock. Someone tried to kill him, dude. That is crazy. I see that all the time. Snakeheads always have something like dents on their head from people hitting them with a bat, but it doesn't even kill them because their heads are too strong. What's up VFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. If you're gonna tell by that, we are here at the bridge. Check it out. This is the spot where we just caught the blue crawfish probably about a month ago. You guys love that video. So I thought, why not come back again and try to catch another one? Now I did some research after we caught the one blue crawfish and I found out, Brandon, I don't know if you know this, the blue crawfish, is native to Florida. When I found that out, I was like, what is going on? I thought they were like aquarium fish that were released into here. I found out that they're native to Florida and I was like shocked. I was like, oh my gosh. And it turns out that the, the, the dark colored ones are the invasive ones. I, I'm pretty sure because it said the blue ones are the only native ones here in Florida. I had no clue. But if you go look it up, like the odds of a blue crawfish, it says one in two million. So I don't know what's going on. I'm really confused. Apparently they're native to Florida, but they're also one in two million. I'm very confused. So we came back today. We're gonna flip all these rocks. Check it out. The water's really shallow today, Brandon. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, it just rained. Too. It did just rain. I guess they like dumped it into somewhere, but the water's really shallow. That should be good for us because, you know, the shallower the water, the easier for us to catch the fish, I assume. I made a post earlier today saying that we're gonna come back and try to catch a blue crawfish. You guys sent me all of your luck, so I'm feeling good. I feel like we're gonna catch one. When there's one, there's more, and they're native. So obviously there's gonna be more, so. Let's get to flipping some rocks. Let's find us a blue crawfish. Dang it. Like, look at all these spots these, these crawfish could be in. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I just saw one. Where'd he go? That wasn't a, it wasn't a blue one. It was just a regular one, but I saw one. Oh shoot, I just dropped the light. <gasps> oh, what is that? Oh my God, look. Brandon, 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 look. Massive crawfish. Look at this. Where you no. go? Oh, the light. Bro. Oh my God. Look at the size of that Did one. he just crawl out of there? Yeah, he crawled, he crawled out of like there. Like you dropped the light in the water and then it... I, dro I dropped the light in the water. I don't know if it's broken. It's beeping now. But look at that crawfish, dude. Get a good look at him. That is sick. Oh, we got to get this guy in the bucket. I want to keep him. He's really cool. That's a massive one, bro. You saw him? Yeah, he was He in came there. scurrying out of there. He was like, oh my God. All right, check it out, guys. We got a little cooler to put all of our cool finds in for the night. There he goes. Bro, look at him. He's huge. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, that's the biggest one I've ever seen, I think. That thing's like a Spider-Man. Yo, if we find a blue crawfish this big, I am going is that a lobster? to freak out. This is a freaking lobster, dude. This is not a crawfish. That is a lobster. That's a full-on lobster, bro. Look at him. My God. Imagine he was a blue one. He lost a claw in, like, in like a battle. <laughs> This guy's a warrior right here. All right, 
Let's keep searching. Hopefully we find a blue one that big. That would be insane. Try not to fall. Spider. Oh. Dang, look at the size of that apple snail. Oh my gosh. He's dead now, but dang, that was a big one. Dude, look at this. What is it? No, look how big that freaking tadpole is, bro. What is that, frog? Dude, he's got legs and everything. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm in science class. Dude, that's like a bullfrog tadpole, right? Guys, comment down below what kind of tadpole that is. That is not a normal toad tadpole. That thing is massive. Ah! Oh my god. Am I on the Bill Nye show? Yeah, you are. Bill, Bill Nye, Nye, the science guy. Look at the legs on him, bro. That's so Bill, cool. Bill, Bill, should we, should Bill. We, oh, wait, Brandon. Should we keep him? Yes. Let's raise a wait, froggy. Wait, let's keep him and then raise him to see what kind of frog he is. Another addition to our cooler tonight. We have a giant crawfish and a giant freaking tadpole. This is the battle of the century right here, bro. Bullfrog tadpole. I think. I think it's a bullfrog tadpole versus giant crawfish. Who will win? Find out in the next video of Bill Nye, the science guy. Oh, oh, look. Look. Oh, he's dead. Oh, this one's alive. Look. Mm. That one's alive. There's another one. Yummy. Two apple snails. Look at that, guys. Those are called apple snails. These guys are invasive, just like literally everything here in Florida. Oh, I wish they would come out, bro. They look really freaky. I'll put some. Oh, wait. He's coming out. He's coming out. Come on. It's okay. You're safe. He's poking out. <laughs> Should we keep these guys? They're pretty cool. Yeah. Sure. Put them in the net. Let's keep walking. Wait, what are those? Who's under here? <gasps> oh, what is that? The water bug. There he is. Nasty. Those things sting you, you're done. You're dead. All right, guys. So we got our pipe trap here. If you watched the last video where we caught the blue crawfish, we found a pipe in the water, but it was buried under all the sediment. So we uplifted it and we placed it here. We have not checked it in, in, a, in a month, over a month. We're going to check the trap and hopefully we get some crawfish in there. Did he go down the wrong area? This isn't it. We walked too far. Ready? Check it out, guys. Get we it. Got our pipe. Dude, look how prime it looks. I'm going to dump it all into the net. Ready? <gasps> We're sickling. We're good sickling. Oh! oh. All right, ready? Brandon. What? Brandon. Brandon. What? Oh! My God! Did what? Dude, we freaking did it! We freaking did it! Is that a blue? It's a fuck, dude! I'm shaking right now. It's a blue baby. It's a freaking blue baby! Oh my God! A blueberry. It's a blueberry, dude! Oh my God! Look at that! She was in the freaking pipe trap, baby! Yo, we need more pipe traps in this area ASAP, baby. She's kicking. Is that a female? Oh, don't pinch me! Look at her! Look at her kicking! <laughs> Oh, bro, we can breed this with the other one because the other one's a male, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Wow. Look at her, dude. Oh, no, no, no. You're not getting back. Look at that. You got a good shot of her, bro? Yep. Look how beautiful she is. So apparently these things are native to Florida. I, I, I guess. I don't know. Because obviously you guys see them in pet stores. I thought they were just like all the other stuff in Florida where people release them from their aquariums. Um, but I guess it says they're all over Florida and they're native. So I guess these guys are freaking native. They're supposed to be here, which is so sick. This is a thriving population of blue crawfish in Florida. All right, let's get them in the bucket with the other one, bro. Wait, imagine they start breeding like last time. All right, let's get them in the cooler. Hey, wait, wait. let's check what else is in the net. Yeah, it's a dummy. lot of catfish. Oh, it's, it's not a blue one though. Look at that. Ah, he's pinching me. You better quit that. They were probably breeding, I think. I think they're both females though. Hey, hey, we support it, right? I caught catfish in a fish trap here last video, look. Look at all of them we caught, dude. Bro, we caught so many. Should we just dump these guys back? I mean, I don't really yeah. want them. We don't want them. All right, we don't, oh, want, we don't want Give a like for the net. All right, we're going to put our crawfish in the net so they we don't We break escape. the net every two videos. Literally. This net lasted surprisingly long for our videos. Usually it breaks the first video. That's a freaking success in my book, bro. Let's go. Check it out, baby. Oh, well, they haven't killed each other yet. Guys, this is your new friend. He's only half as deadly. Oh, you're feisty. And here's our blue one. Check that out. Oh my gosh, bro. That is so sick. Look at that, dude. Look at the color difference. Let me get them in my hand. Look at that, dude. Look at that. So these blue ones are surprisingly the native ones. And these guys, 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but these guys are the invasive ones, the brown ones. It, usually it's the colorful stuff that's invasive. Dude, that took like way shorter than I thought. I was prepared to flip every single rock in this creek. We gotta come back and load up a bunch of pipes in this area because that's only that one. The rocks, I don't know, like you guys saw it. The rocks are thick in that area by the bridge. So like you have to literally uplift all the rocks. So the pipe traps are where it's at. Brandon, should we head home or should we look for more? I think we should go get that blue one and breed them. Yeah, wait, should I try to breed them with my blue blue male? One last look. She's going home and we're gonna try to breed her with my male crawfish that we caught from the same creek because right now I have him trying to breed with a normal looking one and I don't think it's successful. I mean, they did breed, but it's been a while and there's no eggs yet. So, so let's get this girl home. I'm pretty sure it's a female and put her into the tank with the other blue one guys. It is the next day. Um, I decided to wait till the, you know the next morning to film just so it's light outside. I have the crawfish in here. I put the tadpole and the little crawfish into the fountain pond. So hopefully uh, they do good in there and hopefully we get to find out what kind of frog it is. But for the blue crawfish, we put her in here and she actually molted overnight. Check this out. I came out here and I saw this and I was like, oh my God, she's dead. <laughs> but it's just a molt. Which makes sense because when I was holding her, her shell was like extremely soft. Like I noticed that. Look at that. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, oh my God, she's dead. She's right here. Now, I don't know if their colors are better after they molt. She looks a little darker to me. Maybe she'll lighten up in the future, but she looks a little darker after she molted there. Still very beautiful though. And for the big boy, we got him in this bucket. I didn't want him harassing her. I don't know what I want to do with this guy. I might feed this guy to like the, the to Bane or something. I think we should feed this guy to the to the fish. Well, let's go do that right now. Let's see if Wayne eats it. Dude, if Wayne eats this, I'm going to be shocked. Here we go. Place your bets, guys. Who do you think's gonna eat him? Bane or Wayne? Those are those are my guesses. It's definitely Bane, which is our big bass right there, or Wayne, our big Oscar. Let me just throw him in right there. Oh my god. The wild card, the freaking wild card. Andy just got it. Andy is literally our smallest bass. <laughs> Who would have thought? I see one of our pearl scale cichlids over there. There he is. Oh, oh no, I didn't get to see his colors. Oh, there he is. Oh, you can't really see him. He's, he's scurrying off. Check out this pond though. Got the new filter going. Check out how clear it is. Looking beautiful. Look at all the Paku down there. Shovel nose is, is hanging out right there. You can kind of see him. Now, if you guys were hoping I would uh, continue the video showing the crawfish breeding, because I do plan on putting that blue female with the blue male. I'm actually gonna save that for another video because I have big plans involving this guy right here. We're gonna try and morph this into sort of like a breeding enclosure for the crawfish, the colorful crawfish. I'm gonna completely cut this off so it's just a nice open area. We're gonna put some rocks in there, structure, make it look really cool and fill it with a bunch of crawfish and try to, you know, create a little breeding colony. So that's gonna be its own video soon. Don't know when, but very soon we're gonna be doing that. So stay tuned for that video. If you guys enjoyed this video, go down there, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh my God, dude, I am such an idiot. I came back out here and I see this and I'm like, oh my God, she jumped out. <laughs> and I literally just put that there.